So we are so excited to finally be selling supplies and most importantly, Design Master. I love Design Master for three reasons and I use it for three different reasons. Uh, color correction, it's, it's a bit of like an insurance. It can really control that color story. Um, you can use it to create colors that don't exist in nature and in natural product. And it's multi-purpose. You can also use it on vases and just other things. So let's go into all the different reasons and how it works. So let's start with color correction. Oftentimes with really extremely delicate flowers, um, more accent luxury flowers, there tends to be a wide range of shades that it can come in. For instance, uh, light pink ranunculus. Half the year they come in from Japan, they're called Clooney ranunculus. They come in extremely blushy and soft. And then the other half of the year, they come in light pink. And so if you're a bride that likes blush, that light pink is gonna feel a little bit too dark for you. So a good thing to do is to have a can of Blush Design Master on hand that way if something comes in and it feels a little bit too bright, you can calm it down. For instance, um, I got these scabiosas in and I wanted more of like a raspberry tone and they came in pulling a little bit more violet. And so I used Raspberry Design Master to pull it more in that berry direction that I wanted. And so, it's really important to read our product pages because I'm always really upfront with the flowers that have more variation. And filler flowers, roses, carnations, they're gonna be a lot more consistent than peonies, ranunculus, scabiosa. Those can have some shade variations. So it's always good to have a can if you know that um, that shade variation is gonna upset you. Uh, let's see, the next thing I use it for is to create colors that don't exist in nature. So a few years back, teal was a really popular wedding color and brides would ask me if there's any teal flowers and or greenery and there isn't, but there is Teal Design Master. So so I used it um, to spray out some greenery, and this is some naggy. Leather leaf paints out really well. So many flowers paint out well, and it's quick drying. Um, it's not going to damage your blooms. And this summer, um, I did a wedding, and the groom was from Mexico, so the bride and groom wanted to make the reception feel very like vibrant and colorful, kind of based on his culture. And so we made this big wall installation and I took a lot of um, tropical palms and leaves and I sprayed them all out different colors and they were absolutely beautiful. And I did all of that with Design Master. The third way that you can use Design Master because it's multi-purpose is you can use it on vaseware. So we've just started carrying our line of vases and right now I'm selling all plastic and plastic resin. And what's nice is um, because it's plastic, it takes spray paint really, really well. And so here's our mint julep cup and this is how it comes. And for me, I feel that this is a bit too shiny for me. I feel like it looks kind of like plastic. It looks a little bit too yellow. And so when I use these at weddings, I'll often just respray them with Design Master. So if you can see here, I've sprayed this with antique gold and this with the brilliant gold. And just as a point of reference, this is actually metal. And so you can see that it very much looks similar. And once you have flowers in these plastic vases, you're not gonna be able to tell that they're plastic. You can also come in with like, you know, you can, you can paint your vaseware teal, you can paint it copper. And I love that. Um, we have a lot of like white compotes, so if you're wanting to take it a different color, you absolutely can. And if you were to buy that color, the vaseware would probably be between, I don't know, 15 to $25 a vase, and that can add up pretty quickly, which is why the plastic is nice and the Design Master completely complements that. So I wanna show you a few examples of what I've sprayed with Design Master today. This is Nagi, which is a pretty deep greenery. I've sprayed this burgundy, and I use burgundy a lot because it's one of the most popular colors in weddings right now, and agonis and smokebush, which is the two burgundy greeneries, they're not always on crops, so I just spray out some greenery burgundy. It looks natural and beautiful in my arrangements. Um, around the holidays, people like to add little gold elements, so this is sprayed out with brilliant gold, 
If you want something a little bit dark and um, I would probably go with like the antique gold. You've already seen the teal and I wanted to show you this. So the one thing about Design Master is I try not to make huge leaps in the color. So, um, you know, the teal and the burgundy, they were already a little bit deeper in tone. And so on this piece of greenery, I went with this light, soft honeycomb. And when you're going from light to dark or dark to light, you're gonna have to make a few passes with it. So with the burgundy, I just had to spray it one time and I would let it dry. But with the honeycomb, I had to go back about two times. Like you've gotta let it dry first and then you coat it again. Um, I had to do this a lot in that tropical wedding where I sprayed out all of the palms and I'll, I'll have a picture here so you can see the final outcome of that. The most important thing to remember is um, make your passes and let it dry. This paint is not like the paint that you're gonna get at Lowe's that needs an hour or so to dry. Like typically this will dry in less than five minutes. So it's very quick drying. Um, what you want to avoid, and I'm not gonna spray this inside because it gets extremely smelly. So you always wanna spray your Design Master outside. But I purposely messed this one up. Um, I was trying to go to light blush. And what I did to mess it up, and this is what you're gonna wanna avoid, is you don't wanna spray so close to get that saturation. When you come in and spray things, I, I, I keep my hand about seven to six inches away from the greenery, and I do quick passes. So I kind of feather it out. And I do have another video where you can see that I'm, blowing, um, I'm spraying out peonies. They came in a bit too fuchsia, and I needed them to go a little bit more burgundy. So I hold things away, and I feather it in. If I need to get a little bit closer, I can, but I don't start out close. And that's especially true when you're going from you know, dark to light. Same goes for the vessels. They paint really, really well, um, especially when you're going from gold to gold. I, I just had to do one quick pass on this. It, it didn't take a lot. I probably could have done 10 to 15 of these mint julep cups with one can. So it doesn't take a lot. It has really good coverage. The last thing I can say is pay attention to what we say on the products and what we say in an actual collection. So when it's a harder color to achieve like terracotta, mustard, mauve, those three colors are highly popular, but there isn't a lot of flower options that come in fresh that are that color. And then we're dealing with like shade variations. So. If you have a terracotta palette, get a can of Red Clay Design Master. If you're going for mauve, go ahead and just get a can of the Heatherish. Um, for mustard, honeycomb is a little bit soft, but when you mix, mix it with peach, like a terracotta carnation, it really pulls in that nice, like, terracotta mustard vibe. So pay attention to what we tell you because we're gonna tell you the absolute truth if a color's a little bit tricky and just get this in advance so you can control your color story.